This changes everything.
August. Well, on the 19th of August, we had a craft or an object hovering over Minneapolis-St. Paul for six hours in a 30-knot wind. Does everybody remember that one, or did you ever hear about that? It sat up there. Did you remember hearing about it in the news? Uh, of course not, right? Even down in Papua New Guinea, you didn't, you didn't hear it there. New Fork uh, received a lot of reports. There was footage of this. There was also a event that night in, um, let's say, northwest uh, Arizona. And I'd like to show you the object that was seen there in a 30 mile an hour wind. Can we show that? Let's see Rob's footage. And this is from Arizona Research Group. Now, the vantage point this individual was looking at this thing in the air in a 30 mile an hour wind. Pay attention now to these illuminations around the side. And I refer to them as illuminations, not lights, for the purpose of illuminating. But illuminations, the result of energy. And you see this one just go on? Well, it's all around it. It's very un-aerodynamic, and he first described it as being a huge battleship in the sky. What you're looking at here uh, received UFO footage of the year, or photograph of the year, and knowing the individual for four years, I can assure you this is a genuine photograph, and it is something out of this world or at least unearthly technique. How do you like that? Research coming from this area has got to be one of the, some of the best scientific, actual scientific research. This and a few other events that happened to this individual really propelled him to look into things uh, that really, really made him, let's say, question his reality.